Hi, this is Wayne Bilal with tip number 21 of our 35 QuickBooks 2013 Tips and Tricks. Um, use estimates to track all proposals. Look, if you're like most business owners, you're out there throwing estimates around, you know, sending proposals out, doesn't really matter. And it's hard to keep track of them. Plus, QuickBooks really does a good job of it. So let's say we're going to do an estimate. So it doesn't really matter. Let's pick any customer. We're going to pick the first one. Uh, we're going to remodel our bathroom. Okay. Maybe we've already remodeled their bathroom, so let's just remodel. We'll take the second one. And we're going to put an estimate together. So we're going to do some blueprints, uh, you know, cost of 500 bucks. Uh, I said 500, not 5,000. All right. Gonna, yeah, and we'll just make this simple. We're not going to, you know, do, we're going to get a subcontractor if I can find it. Uh, we're going to get a painting subcontractor. Well, that doesn't make any sense with blueprints. Tile and counter. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, you know, we're going to put in, you know, they're going to do 40 hours. Who cares? And it's going to be a taxable job. Well, we're going to say it's, well, we've got to change this to taxable. So let's say it's a taxable job. But the subcontractor is going to pay their, well, we'll pay the tax form just to make life easier. All right. Uh, put in the markup. We'll worry about that later. We're not going to get crazy. So let's say save and close. All right. So this is a job for Robert Allard, and we stuck it out there. All right. Now, he accepts the job. So what I can do, i got two different ways. I can go here, all right, uh, create an invoice. All right, one more night, I'm saving anyways, no big deal. I don't want to do that, though. Okay, don't forget, it's asking to create a class, um, so don't forget to do it if you need to. But let's move on. And the class is right here, by the way, so I can say it's a remodel job. Um, but let's look at the different way I can do it. I can also just come here and click on the customer and say, I want to do one here. It's going to say, hey, you got a proposal out there. Do you want to use it? And you say, yeah, let's let's use this proposal. Create an invoice for part, part percentage, all or some, or per, or <laughs> I can create it for 100 percent part uh, percentage complete. I can just say we're 50 percent complete, or I can just build some items. This one I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to say all of it. And when I say save and close, I basically just turn my proposal quickly to an invoice, and I can see entirely what's out there without a problem. All right. So until next time, don't oh. I knew there was something I wanted to show you, and I'm doing it while I'm talking. Under sales, there's one that says pending sales. Um, if you had some outstanding, uh, in, uh, sorry, estimates, they would show up here. So you can also track them, which is very, very handy. Until next time, this is Wayne Blalin. Thank you very much.